napata mimba inatoka napata mimba inatoka kama haitatoka iko kwa mshipa kambra ijulikane napelekwa natolewa From Kiamutambi village in Kirinyaga County, 33-year-old Margaret Wanjobi says life has served her so harshly. Her 12 pregnancies, 10 cesarean sections, 6 dead infants and 3 miscarriages is too much for a young woman. At the tender age of 15, after completion of primary school and having passed her KCP so well, she was invited by a relative in Nairobi to help as a house girl. It didn't take long before a man spotted a beautiful wife in her. So nikiwa pale tulikuwa na jamaa tukaweza tu kuongea vile tukaongea naona tu msichana mzuri unajua ukitoka ukishatoka nyumbani unakuja unakula chakula na Nairobi unang'aa So yeye aliona tu kitu mzuri na katamani As a teenager she wasn't cognizant of what would be awaiting her in the new matrimony Niliolewa nikiwa na 16 years Sijui kitu yoyote ya ndoa sijui kukaa na mwanaume kwa nyumba sijui she easily got into this because nobody seemed to help her continue to secondary school. Nilikuwa na high hopes ya kwamba nitaendelea na masomo yangu. Lakini nilipofika pale tu wakati wa kujitayarisha ndio niingie secondary, mambo yakawa yako vile. Pesa silikosekana na nikaambiwa ya kwamba niko na muda mwingine. Nikaambiwa nirudie lakini nilishindwa narudia kufanya nini nimepita sijai kuwa hata namba 2 nimekuwa from class 1 number 1 number 1 so nishindwa na narudi kwa kusoma kufanya nini When Magi was not able to bear children that would leave her ordeals began Sasa ikawa sitapata mimba ikue nikipata miscarriage nikipata miscarriage ni miscarriage mimba mbili Her husband frustrated her so did her mother in law akaniambia sikisa na usikise vizuri wacha venye unajisharisha huku watoto siju unapeleka wapi ukisaa mwingine akufe utapeleka kwenu ukasiki sisi hatuko tayari kubadilisha sababu letu na kuwa raka mburi na kijana yangu nataka aoe mimi nataka wajukuu kwa hivyo sitaki usae ni ukubali kijana afanye nini in my mind tu nikajua hii kitu ni kunijulisha anajulisha lakini hii kitu imepangwa she was later taken back to her mother by her husband. He said he would not stay with her if she could not have kids that would live. He though promised to occasionally come to check on her. When he left their place, Margaret wasn't able to reach her husband on phone. Her husband had offloaded his burden. I think alinisimia simu akitoka hapo. Bila tunapiganga simu kusikia kama watu wamefika in a good heart. Mtenja. Yen the whole of that week mtenja, the next week mtenja, nika sense deja. Wakati nilienza kusense deja, nika pigiwa simu na mama jirani. <coughs> Magi, ulienda wapi? Uku kuna mwishana na vaa nguwe sako, nilikuwa that time nilikuwa na job. Nilikuwa nimeweka ya manguo. Kawanguale. Anafungua job yako, na navaa manguo yako, na nikama tuwa na lana uku. Nika njua apana. When she went to confirm, she found her mother-in-law's house help having been brought into her house as a wife by her husband. This broke her heart a great deal. They finally separated. She later quit and after several years, she met another man. It was also not easy for her even though she was able to have a daughter with him. After a year, sasa hivi tukakaa na yeye. Tukakaa na yeye, sasa hile kastori kaanza kujirudia tena. Napata mimba, inatoka. Napata mimba, inatoka. Kama itatoka, iko kwa mshipa. Kambra ijulikane, napelekwa natolewa. Her tribulations continued when she could not bear more children for her husband. Her mother-in-law called her mother and asked her to come and pick her daughter. She claimed that her son who holds a degree can't get married to a divorcee who can't give her grandchildren. My mother-in-law wakachukua simu wakapigia mamangu. Kamambia, hello, doa yetu na watu wakirinyanga imefika hapo. Ukijana yetu kwa kikuu tunasemanga kishokio sasa mwenye berudisho kwao. Ukijana yangu amesoma kwa na degree yesi olewa ASIO wa kishokio. Yaani mtu alikuwa ameole. Magiri meant single for a while but later met a Kenyan living in the US when he traveled back home. They've been able to have a daughter together. This is Magi's second surviving child. She currently has two angels. She says, "These are precious and hope." I thank God so much for her. 
na ito precious ni precious gift precious just like her mother is a top performer in class 3 having emerged top in her class last term after 12 pregnancies 10 c sections 6 dead newborns three miscarriages, an ectopic pregnancy, and eventually two healthy baby girls. Eight-year-old Precious and two-year-old Hope, Margaret Wanjobi's story is that of great hope and girls in total agony brought about by constant domestic violence and rejection. Reporting for Tuko, I'm Dickens Ngicho.